Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you my Gatefold cardstock mini album tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. First of all, uh, you're going to need a few things. Uh, you're going to need four five and three quarters by three inch uh, rectangle. You're also going to need two six by two strips for punching, three five by five squares, two six inch by two and three quarter rectangle, and all that is going to be in one patterned paper. The next thing you're going to need, and this is the base of your inside of your cardstock, is three five and three quarters by twelve inch paper, and you're going to score it at three and nine. So with these, uh, these are one-sided cardstock paper. So the first five and three quarters by twelve paper that you score at three inches and nine inches. You fold the paper uh, into the pattern, so you'll have one, sorry, folded this way towards the pattern. The other two five and three quarters by twelve sheets of paper, once you score it by three and nine, you're going to fold it into the blank portion of the cardstock. So when you fold it, you'll see your pattern paper. And so you're going to do that again with the third one, fold it into the blank side of the paper, so you'll have that. Okay, so those are three pieces that you need for the inside of your cardstock your mini album. And then you're going to need one 6 by 12 scored at 2 and 3 quarters inches, 3 inches, 9 inches, and 9 and a quarter. So two and a quarter, three, nine, and nine and a quarter. And this will be the outside of your cardstock. And you'll see there's a quarter inch fold there so that you can put the inside of your mini album into the cover. And the last thing you're going to need is so you'll need two five and three quarters by five and seven eighths. And this color should match the outside of your cardstock mini album. Once you've cut all these sheets, we're going to start to assemble the mini album. First, we're going to work with the five and three quarters by twelve sheets. We have three of them. We're going to ignore the first uh, sheet that we've fold it into the design paper because this will be our center. We're going to work with the two sheets that we folded uh, into the blank portion so when you fold it you'll see the pattern paper. So both of these we are going to place the five and three quarters by five and seven eighths sheets. And that fits exactly into the center. So I'm going to get my glue, my ATG gun. Just remember, make sure that you're careful because this is not a square. Uh, the height will be five and three quarters and the width will be five and seven eighths. So I'm just gonna flip it and apply some glue. Okay, now remember, the shorter side of this piece of paper is the height, which is five and three quarters, and the width is five and seven eighths. And you just want to place it in between the two score lines. Oops. Okay, so that goes there. And I haven't, it's not perfect, 
but I'm just going to add some distress ink at the edges so it won't be so obvious. As long as it folds nicely, you're good. Once that five and three quarters by five and seven eight sheet of paper is applied to the blank side of this paper in the center, you want to take two of your five and three quarters by three inches and glue it to the flaps right here. So it'll look like that. So let's do that now. Okay, so I've placed some glue in the back and I'm going to try and glue this or put this in nicely without messing it up. This is the trickiest part to try to get it to line up. There you go. And then the other side. Just glue that. Oop. Get this to line up properly. Now, what I need to do is do the same to the other sheet of paper that is blank in the inside here. So I'm going to take the five and three quarters by five and seven eighths and glue it to the bottom of this. So once you repeat the second uh, sheet, you should have two uh, six by twelves that look like this. So now you're going to take the other six by twelve that you fo folded into the design that looks like this, and you're going to place that in the middle. And then we're going to glue <coughs> these two pieces together and these two pieces together. And that will form the base of the inner part of this cardstock mini album. So let's just put some glue on there. definitely say the gluing of the pages together is the toughest part about this mini album. It's not even that difficult. I, uh, it's a very, this is a very quick and easy process I find and um, you can turn out quite a few of these quite quickly. So there that is uh, glued together and we're going to glue this part together too. <coughs> <clears throat> and I just match up the paper fold it over And that should so then it will look like this so you have the edges so this will fold together like this 
and this here will fold together like this. And then you have the center piece. So, this here, if you fold this over, you fold this over, this is the center of the mini album, and it will fit in here. So the only other thing that we need to do is we're going to take the three five by five squares. <clears throat> we're going to place one in the center and we're going to place another in the center and the other one in the center too. I feel like I like it this way better. I think I'm gonna go vertical this time. So I'll go ahead and glue that on. Okay, so we are going to put it be easier just to measure it because I can never eyeball it properly but that's okay so that's that <clears throat> this one here okay There you go. And one more right here. Okay, so you have the inside of the mini album that looks like this. And then this here folds over and this folds over. So we'll set aside this portion of it and work on the cover and then we'll continue on. <clears throat> so this is the cover and it's a 6x12 piece and we are going to first of all take these two 6x12 pieces these two here and we're going to use the Martha Stewart punch to punch out this lace pattern. So I'm going to just okay. Okay, so that's one section. Let's do this here. Okay, so let me just clean this up a bit and I'll come right back. Okay, so now that I've finished punching out these lace pieces, what I want to do is glue, hold on here, <coughs> glue this right along there. 
So I'm going to take my ATG gun and just place the tape on the top for the pattern. And I'm going to There you go. So looks like that in there. Then let that there. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side here. There you go. So now it looks like this. That's the gatefold. <coughs> the last part of this uh, for this mini album cover is you're going to take your two six by three quarters and we're going to add it. to this part here to try to finish off just to make it look a lot more finished. So we'll just glue this on. I'm having gluing problems today. Okay, so There we go. There we go. And then one more here. Okay, so there you go. That is glued on and it looks like that. So now the cover is completed and we're going to take the middle part of the mini album and glue, add glue to this blank spot here which is the bottom of this mini album. See so it goes like that. So we're going to glue this part onto here. Okay so let's just Get our handy dandy ATG gun. I like to add a lot of glue. And that should be done now. As you can see here is the front of the mini album. You open it up and you've got these cute little flaps and then you can put a picture here and then another picture here and these two gate folds here open up like that and then the other side opens up. And that's it. So now all I have to do is add the photos and embellish it. Hi everyone. So I wanted to share with you my completed mini album that I created. Uh, let me show you uh, my version, which is my gatefold cardstock mini album. So I added this uh, green and yellow organza ribbon to as an ex as an enclosure uh, to this mini album. 
And the reason why I added the, the greenish yellow is to sort of coordinate with this American Craft paper that I used throughout my mini album. This uh, striped pattern here comes from a paper pack that I bought at Michael's. I believe it's called the Elegance Collection or the Elegance something. <laughs> and this was just a uh, basic gray label from one of the 8x8 packs. And I just wrote here, lovingly made by me and then the date. Uh, so when you open up the ribbon, <clears throat> the style of this mini album, the opening is a uh, gatefold style and this is just some flat back pearls that I got from Formosa Craft and when you open it up you see the rib or the lace punch out from Martha Stewart that I did and my aunt this is my aunt and her husband and they went on a cruise my mom and her sisters went on a cruise and so I just took some of their Facebook page pictures and um, downloaded it and printed it. So that's that. And then when you open up this side, there's another gatefold. And you open up this side here. Oops, sorry. There's another gatefold. And if you go, I just added another photo. And that's my mom, dad, and my aunt's two, my aunt's spouses, and they're on their cruise. And then this is a little, sorry, this is a little get-together that we had um, after their cruise. So that's that. I love this mini album because it's very easy to make. And there's a lot of places to put photos on. And it's just really quick and simple. You can make this the base anyways. I would say under an hour, maybe. Yeah, I'd say about it under an hour. And, you know, the thing is, is it's a great gift. People love receiving it. Um, and it looks like you've put a lot of effort, which you have. But it's a nice gift. It's a great way. Like, I mean, uh, my aunt will be going back to the Philippines. And she will have this memory of her trip and the card I made her. So it just closes this way and then you just tie it back up. It's going to be tricky to get a perfect bow on camera here. Yeah, tricky. <laughs> but it's just very simple. Um, you're probably using three or four pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock. And um, I love it. If you have any questions, just post a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye.